Okay, thanks, Max. No worries. <laughs> Cheers. Cool. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, today we're looking at faces and portraits. So I hope you've got a sketchbook and a pencil ready. Um, we're going to do loads of sketching and, and uh, get, you, get you really drawing quickly as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Blow away them cobwebs. Um, it's good to be back. Took a little bit. So took a little bit of a break from the uh, the streaming, um, and I can't wait to to catch up with you all. Hi everyone! So let me know, <clears throat> let me know where you're from and and uh, and who's back, uh, and uh, let's get into it. Okay. So um, let's look at the schedule. All right, here we go. Faces and portraits. So we're going to look at before we start we'll do a warm up and then the basic principles of face drawing so i mean you could approach it any any way you like really but this is how i like to do it um, starting with an overall shape guidelines uh, and landmarks just making sure you've got the proportions you know in the right place um, and then looking for shadows really important part we'll go over that um, and then finally rendering and, and, and features last okay so we, we often go for the features, um, you know, go for the eyes, go the, the little details too soon. And, and that's the reason I put that at the, at the end there. And you'll, you'll, hopefully you'll see why. So <clears throat> starting off with fit five, uh, five minute sketches, so really quick, get us, get us warmed up. Uh, then a 10 minute portrait, we'll take a little tea break. Um, and we'll come back and do a longer portrait. I've got some really nice uh, references. Um, at the end, we're gonna do a little bit of caricature, caricaturing, a little bit of a challenge, just to have some fun with it. And my favorite part, the viewer gallery. So getting to see all your work. So if you're sketching along, <clears throat> doesn't matter if you're watching the recording or you're, you're sketching along live, share your artwork with the hashtag uh, Jake's Art Club, share it on Instagram, and we'll be able to see it at the end. So I love looking at your work and, and, and all of that. So yeah, thanks for thanks for joining me on this cool Wednesday afternoon. Let's do it. So I'm using a 2B um, Faber-Castell. I might be using 4B as well. Um, I've just got like one of these cheap rubbers um, and I've sharpened my pencil with a blade so it's gonna last quite a long while, quite last with a drawing session. Whatever you've got to draw with, you know, whatever paper you've got, just absolutely great. Um, we're just gonna be doing quick sketches so you don't need your best materials or anything. But let's spend two minutes warming up and kind of loosening up our hand, okay? So I want nice confident lines on, the, on your page, like this, okay? Not shy little lines. Let's do some nice confident lines, okay? Use your, use your whole arm. There we go. Do some circles. Just spend these two minutes warming our arms up and get something on that first page. So it's good to remember that eyeballs are balls and we can wrap um, the, the eyelids around them. So really handy to be able to draw circles quickly with your faces. And maybe a bit of shading as well if you wanna shade your drawings just get a few different angles and really loosening up. So you might notice that I've, I'm holding my pencil at the bottom like this, so not like a uh, like a drawing, uh, like a pen, like if I was writing, but kind of like a in a drawing pose like that. And that's going to give me more um, more options and more directions. And I, I I find it more more comfortable to draw with. So whatever's comfortable for you. How is everyone? <laughs> Brilliant. It's great to be back, guys. Hey, hey. Brilliant. Um, so just a little bit more warming up. I think we had a few birthdays. So happy birthday to Ashley. Um, I think it's Mike's birthday today, one of my old friends from uni. Happy birthday, Mike, if you're watching. And um, 
uh, Steve as well, Steve from Life Drawing. His birthday soon, I'm pretty sure it's this week, so happy birthday, guys. Um, I think Naomi and Cheryl had birthdays, so happy birthdays, guys. Right, we've done the birthdays, we've done the warm up, now we can, uh, we can crack on. So, here we go, new page, and I'm going to take you through my step by step approach. So first off, we've got confident lines, we, we, you know, we've, we've loosened up and we, we're, we've only got five minutes for these drawings. So we need to be really, really, um, uh, you know, assertive and, 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 and kind of loose and, and confident with our, with our drawing. Okay, so if we follow this process, I'm hoping that that will happen. So we start with, um, let's just take away that for now. I didn't manage to sort it out properly. Um, we start with the overall shape. So we're, we're looking here at the um, blend to the head sculpture. And this is really great tool for breaking down the, the structure of the face. And I've chosen this for the first kind of pose. I want you to, if you can, draw along with me for this one. And I'll take you through step by step and we'll, uh, we'll do the same. For the rest of the poses so here we go let's get into it overall shape so you can start with a circle but you don't need to but just get a general head shape whatever the reference looks like you know it might be covered by hair and you can't see the face so that's okay and nice and light as well because that's probably going to change that that initial uh, overall shape will probably change. Now let's put in some guidelines. So what do I mean by that is an eye for the a line for the eyes. So normally that would be about halfway down, but on this reference, the photo is taken from a little bit below the head. So there's less of a forehead so that that eye line is going to rise up a little bit. Chuck down a line for the nose bottom of the nose okay and roughly where the mouth is and bottom of the chin so there we go we've got some guidelines um, little things like the five eyes you know make or making sure that you've got enough distance in between the eyes uh, for another eye will, will really help out in a bit so but we've got the overall shape, we've got the guidelines. Now the important bit, looking for the shadows. So we can see this picture is really well lit from above and I can start to outline where the shadows are. Okay, so just quickly, just below that brow line, we've got some real dark areas. and underneath the nose just, if we just join all that shadow up into one shape and the lips kind of looks like a skeleton or like some kind of spooky Halloween costume so we're outlining them shadows under the lip and under the chin and that is really really important for, 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 our, for our face okay because it's gonna it's gonna suggest the form okay they these these shapes are created by uh, the, the the light hitting the, the form in, in certain ways so we're gonna look out for these shapes you know they might be different if the lights coming from up here say or this side the, the, the shadow might be this side of the nose um, but they'll they'll move but if we get them in and we can quickly quickly shade them if we get them in bam we've got a face already okay and just as a little little uh, fun little thing you can just put these marks together 
two eyes under the nose top lip and the bottom of the lip and there you have a face so we're looking for them shapes and those shadows and then finally we're going to render some details so say so we can go in to this into these shadows and we can put in you know um, put in some eyes some nostrils perhaps little bits of detail and remember we did the, the, the overall shape of the face but we did it quite um, we did it quite uh, lightly and loosely now we get the chance to because it will always change you know it's you're never going to get it spot on now you've got the chance to go in and cut away and and uh, really correct the outline of the face and here we go some nice straight lines confident lines to create that outline of the face you see and you can take it from there so from there on really that process repeats itself look for the large shapes then um, look for the shadows within them and that you know that that process is going to repeat itself so here I could focus in on this eye and look for the largest shape of of the eye which is this top eyelid this uh, you know the, the underneath that, that top eyelid um, and and underneath the bottom eyelid there and then that's going to give me the the, the largest and, and clearest shapes and we're going to really convey to our viewer um, what's going on uh, with, with real simplicity. Now we've got a bit more shadow from this side of the face, so let's definitely put that in. So that we've got this nice directional light coming in. There we go. So that essentially is the process we're going to follow. How's everyone doing? Sorry, my chat thing didn't work out. I was well excited for that. <laughs> I'll sort it out for next week. Hi, Grace. Hi, Lucy. Great question from Lucy. How wide should the nose be? So you can use your guidelines here. You can add extra ones from the uh, kind of the furthest inward, the furthest like like the tear ducts kind of thing here. You can go for a, go from a line a line down from there, and that will be approximately the uh, the boundaries of the nose. And that will change, you know, uh, different races, different facial um, constructions. Everything will change. That's why I, it's it's you know you could say the eyes are halfway down the face, the lips are halfway from the eyes to the chin, but actually everyone's face changes so much. So rather than tell you hard and fast rules, I want you to be observing and, and putting in the guidelines based on what you can see. Uh, and that's that will help you get a likeness. Okay, so the, the nose could be wider, it could be thinner. Um, but great question, Lucy. <laughs> Brilliant, okay, let's get into it. Five faces now, five minutes each. Got on that process, I'll be work talking you through it. So here we go. Oh, before we start, just want to say these wonderful images are um, provided by um, Reddit Gets Drawn. Hello, we're back. Uh, sorry about that. So the stream went down. I, th I think probably because of the the browser or something. We maybe overloaded it. We didn't wire the internet, did we? Maybe that was, might be the problem. Anyway, next something else for next week. <laughs> okay, we're gonna jump into it. But I just wanted to say thanks to Reddit's gets drawn. Um, I put the username of each one of these, uh, each one of our sitters in the top left. 
um, and if you wanted to you could go to reddit and submit your drawing of these uh, these people there because I'm sure they would love that um, I'll, I'll be doing that as well so here we go Co Cocoa Chanel 18 with a great great pose here um, let's do it no more talking let's do it five minutes so I'm just going to remove the chat or we'll move it perhaps there we go So nice quick sketches, squetches. Um, you might want to do a few on, a, on the same page. So it's difficult for us to see the overall shape here. But we can, she's fairly straight on so we can kind of guess the, the face shape. sketch okay got my guidelines in and now I want to look at the shadows so the, the shadows are a little bit more subtle on this on this face and um, probably got some more sort of ambient light but they're still there so let's go for Shadow of the nose. Shadow of that brow. The, the eyelid's very bright, so let's make sure we keep that. I'm drawing quite small, I'll do a little bit bigger next time. Got that shape under there. Shadow. I want to accentuate the shadow of this top lip. I think that will help help the drawing. Because remember, we don't have to just copy um, like a photocopier. We can we're the master of this world, and we can we can change things as we go. So we got not long left. So I'm going to start jumping in now with some details. Make sure them eyes are well spaced. And see them uh, outlining the shadows like that. It's just a brilliant guideline for when we come to come to sketch it and shade in. Okay. Let's not miss this beautiful hair. make sure that you've got them um, shadows and the portrait should come together make sure you've got them um, shadows in the right places minute or so
nice quick impression. this lady there we go so you might think Jake why are you making us do this so quick five minutes I hardly got anything done but the thing is if we if we attack these five portraits quickly and we focus on them fundamentals we're gonna learn so much more and it's gonna be a good real good warm-up if we spent you know, an hour on a portrait and spent a lot of time rendering, you know, rendering's fine and that's great, but but that's not where the learning's happening. Okay, so if we're if we're focusing on the shadows, focusing on the forms and and, and the this this you know the, the relationship of the uh, the features to one another, then we're we're getting that that solid practice in. Let's have another go. Uh, I'm going to try and draw a little bit bigger for the next one. A little bit more shadow on this one, which is great. Okay, five minutes. Some uh, Cloud9 just said, I want to draw like this. What kind of method did you use to start with? Um, Loomis blocking in Riley. Um, there's a really good book called The Practice and Science of Drawing. Um, and essentially it's the blocking in uh, method that I really, really, really clicked with me. Um, I wouldn't recommend the book because it's it's a really old book and it's really, really quite a challenging read. But but uh, yeah, the the um, ah look up what's the book called? Look up this one. This is a it, this uses that same information but describes it in a lot better way. Um, I'll show you. Drawing lessons from the great masters. It's a really good one. It takes you through the fundamentals, line, um, value, everything, um, and really just focus on them fundamentals and you, you will definitely get there. Right. Here we go, number two. Five minutes, let's do it. So I'm getting so distracted by this chat thing not working. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Da -da -da. So what's the overall shape? Let's think big. So. generally general shape but it can be loose and we can correct it as we go so where are the eyes the eyes are they're not quite halfway they're a bit above that let's put in that eye line then the nose is quite close to the eyes let's put in that nose line good good little trick for getting the nose is from the outside corner of the eye in to that furthest point of the nose. Okay, and look for that angle. If that angle there is correct, you're you're onto a onto a winner. Look for that expressive line in the middle, like between the lips. That's a little bit high up, I think. Okay, look for that expressive sort of like an M shape between the lips there okay I jumped forward a step didn't I, I was, I'm going for like details so here we go back to back to shadows now let's focus on them shadows and that's this is really abstract you know they're just shapes uh, and breaking the such a complex thing down. So his top lip is 
isn't quite as shadowy as the last uh, last one and there's a lot of shadow off to the left of the face here let's make sure we get all of that in look at that shadow being cast by the nose too close to this look here. I need to bring my eyes up a bit, but that's okay. Bring my eyes up a bit. Perhaps. Okay, start to define the outside of the face again. I think a little trick for the, the outside of the face is you always give the face more than it needs. You'll always make the face kind of chubbier than, than it needs to be. So as a rule, you can kind of cut away a little bit more than you would expect and, and then it will probably be right. Okay, let's go in with some shadows. We've got a minute left. Blocking in too much of those. Kind of that lip. This side of the face. Time's just about to run out, but let's add a little bit of time to develop this. These shadows a bit more. describing the form there. When you're going in and doing the eyes, you know, just get whatever's important. Okay, should leave it there. Right, getting carried away. Um, oh, hi, Tony. How's it going? Um, welcome to the stream. Uh, let's go for the next one. Let's do it. So a lot kind of um, less shadow on this one. That's going to be a little bit more delicate. So um, let's see how we get on. Try a new page. <laughs> Don't want to come up. There we go. Okay, new page, another five minutes. So a little bit more subtlety, perhaps, with the um, with the sketching at the beginning. Uh, so that we're not making too many marks on the face because uh, it's such a, uh, a, a sort of bright image and just got a light complexion. Um, and then maybe we can, you know, the nostrils look a little bit like dots 
here and and that really is bad news for drawing so maybe we can describe that bottom of the nose as a shadow again you know like the um like the the planes of the head so we're just going to cheat a little bit and group together some shadows just to to describe better to the to the viewer uh, but let's do let's do it five minutes let's go <laughs> center line and this is quite quite a sh straight on uh, face center line would be quite handy and the eyes are yeah they're about halfway halfway down I'm just going to start with the just a general shape, but now let's go in with the guides, guidelines. Nose, mouth. So again, we've got an eye's distance between the eyes here. Pretty useful. Uh, let's let's do let's do the uh, the line down from the corner of the eye. Cloud nine says drawing by shadow is so much easier. <laughs> it really is, and you're showing what's important, which is the, which is what it's all about. So yeah, nose is, nose is about right, right width maybe. Um, perhaps we could bring the eyes in just a tad. Okay, but let's focus on the shadows. So okay, we can start with a shadow on the nose. This eye socket on the right. To kind of describe the shape of the nose there, and we're going to add a little bit more shadow under the nose as well. We want to accentuate that so that we're not getting them, them nostril shapes, anything like that. With you know, lots of contrast will distract the viewer. It's difficult to see this the shadow on this. So we've got a little bit there above the lip. Note where the sides of the mouth are uh, are finishing. Okay, it does change on 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 different models, different poses. It just look, look, looks like just the outside of the iris here is where that lip's finishing, and that. Let's put on that descriptive line, that occlusion shadow that's being made between the lips. We'll accentuate the shadow a little bit on that top lip. We've got some beautiful hair. Okay, running out of time, so let's let's go for it. Top of the eyes. Cut in and make that the sides of the face. And with the hair, just just outline it. You know, you can just suggest it with an outline and then we'll get time a little bit later. Perhaps we can go in and, and do some shadows in like a, a ribbon, ribbon formation. I 
always forget eyebrows. Mustn't forget eyebrows. Go, time's up. A little bit more shadow. So quite a difficult one where there was less shadow. Um, and I always do try to choose very kind of references with a lot of contrast because of that. Um, I think there's a bit of a bright brightness on my page. You can't see it quite so well. Um, but yeah, she's a little bit the chin might be a little bit lopsided to that way. Um, but I just want to show you really quickly something for the hair. She's got these lovely uh, curls. And what we can do is imagine them as a ribbon. Okay, so if I, if we outline a few of them and then just shade along them. So going from dark to light where the the highlights are and then back down to love dark again then light again and dark again light and dark again okay and this with a few directional lines will start to um, start to look like like hair, like a ribbon, like a just focusing again on those shadows. So here on the left it gets a bit shadowy. Here it gets a bit shadowy. But if we're just focusing on them, it will come together. Okay. That's enough. Way over the five minute. <laughs> Right. Stop. Okay, here we go. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, uh, next one. Okay, another nice one. We've got a bit more shadow. Let's that come in. Get a new page, new bit of page. Another five minutes. Uh, looks looks focused. Steaks. Um, I'll keep an eye on it though. It might be too much light reflecting on the the pencil. I'll I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, five minutes. Okay. It's the oval shape. Looks like an olive or something. Guidelines on. Now shadow. And we'll start with the brow. Brow's really good because it kind of describes the, the side of the face there. So it curves around. So although we've got light in the, in where the eyes are, that whole area is still all in shadow. So you need to disregard, uh, um, you know, the details of light, and just go for the just for the end of the nose.
got the shadow shapes on. Now let's go in and uh, add a bit more detail. That's a bit there, it's very dark. Make sure we get that nice dark value. Darks. Cut away the face a bit more than we expect. Give it a bit too much chin here. Make sure to cut that in. suggest the nostrils but not doing too much focus on them This lip seems to be traveling too far over the face. Okay, and we've run out of time, so let's finish up. Suggest some of this braided hair. Great. Okay, how's everyone getting on? We've got one more of these quick ones. Um, and it's a side angle, okay? We've got a, a profile. So it's gonna be good. Get some more paper. I'll throw you off a bit with the uh, with the, with the profile. Um, because now you've got to really think where are these shadows okay so we in the in the in the eyes under the nose under that top lip under that bottom lip but you can we can see them a little bit but actually she's look it looks like she's looking out a window um, so she's got light coming towards her face uh, so a lot of them shadows are, are kind of very either very unnoticeable you know very very kind of shallow or they're, they're not there so we need to be mindful of that you know that shadow around the side of the nose there is really prevalent make sure we get that in and these cheek um, cheekbones let's start again with the the um, overall shape and see how we go quite 
square uh, back to the head there. Just noting where the neck joins the head. Got the basic shape, guidelines. Eyes about halfway, but notice they're going off at an angle. And then as this line comes around the face, it will curve there. shape, little guide for our ear here. Um, really good tool is the Loomis head. This little guy. And we know the ear is at that spot. So as you imagine, a circle on the side of the face. It's going to be in this lower left point. Okay, getting a bit carried away with the with the drawing. We need to go in and mass in them shadows. So side of the nose here seems to be in shadow. side like this. Let's make sure we've got a nice white space here on the on the um, negative space on the profile edge. Wrinkles, follow that. Well, are the lips, you know, look where the lips touch, what shapes are they making, out, in. It's good to start with straight lines and then curve them later on. step back and look at the bigger picture. shadows. Okay, definitely needed a bit more time for that, didn't we? 
side profile coming in being a bit tricky. It's a good challenge. <laughs> Okay, um, we have got a 10 minute one now. So well done guys, well done for the five minute warm ups. We're gonna do a 10 minute sketch uh, and then we're gonna take a short break and we'll be back with an even longer one. Um, yeah, you know, we've got some new concepts here um, and we're just, we're, we're, we're all just giving it a go and, um, and, and doing some drawing. One thing I would say is, you know, it's great to practice. Um, you know, think, oh, I need to practice, you know, draw, draw, draw. But actually, what's more important is that we just enjoy it, you know, because if we're constantly aiming for that higher, that higher place, you know, that next thing, um, and we don't stop to enjoy sitting here and drawing, um, that's, I think that's a shame. Um, so, if, you, if you're drawing something you love and, and we're doing it right now, that's fantastic. And, and I'm so happy to share that with you. So, so yeah, let's jump into this 10 minute, uh, 10 minute pose. And if you have any frustrations, just remember that this is time for you. This is a little bit of time for you. And it's, you know, um, to get rid of that chat. Um, it's, it's time for us. It's a gift to ourselves, basically. Time away from all the rubbish that's happening in the world at the moment. And we're, we're just focusing and almost meditating. So join me on this 10 minute pose. And let's just enjoy the process. So here we go, 10 minutes. A little bit of a slower pace. Lots of shadow again, brilliant. Lots of shadow. So again, we've got lots and lots of hair. Um, so putting in that shape is not gonna be all that helpful, but what will be helpful is top and bottom. So top of the head and a line through the bottom of the chin as well. We put in a put in the center line, and we can come and do the, the edges of the face later on. Um, yeah, let's let's work this out sort of halfway from the eyes, maybe a little bit above. Nose, I'm really interesting. Uh, formation of lips here, quite narrow. Let's make a note of that. So now I've got a little bit more time to think. What's you know? What's your initial impression? And not uh, or, or kind of emotional response to this picture, to this face, and maybe you can try and put a little bit of that into the picture as well. You know, if it's, if you're seeing kind of serene, uh, you know, dancing lines or, or, or you're seeing kind of a harshness, you know, don't let me put ideas in your brain. I'm just saying, um, how can we convey that, that character and that emotion in, in, in our drawing as well? So much more than just rendering a photo but we're putting our own interpretation and our own expression uh, in, this, in these drawings, whether we, whether we know it or not, really, whether we intend to or not. Okay. Right, let's go for some shadow.
if you can try and save the eyes and last because they have like a bit of a mesmerizing effect and if you put them in too soon you can forget or neglect other areas of the drawing so you know you might forget to put the eyebrows in or something and I've done that many times because we've fixated on them eyes you know they get that kind of like a dopamine hit from seeing people's faces especially eyes uh, we've drawn to them so knowing that let's focus on form and shapes and then put in the eyes right at the last minute This lovely shapes the, the chin is making here. Make sure we capture that. in line Too high up. I'm going to bring them down. afraid to make big changes like that if you see something's wrong get the rubber out fix it drawing is constant correcting you put one wrong line down to start and then you're correcting from there on face ends up being a lot smaller than I originally intended, which is fine. with some shadow now.
few moments longer. Get something into the hair here. Just some nice contrast to bounce the light of the face against. I think we could carry on rendering all night but that's the problem and that's what we want to try to get away from really have these, these I like these shorter poses and we're, and we're learning more and, and you know getting away quicker before we are kind of using all our time just rendering and messing about but it's an awful lot of fun so um, that's why we're here, isn't it? Have a bit of fun. Now we're going to take a short break. I'm going to um, thanks for joining in and join along with me. We're going to take a short break, five minutes, um, and we'll be back with a longer pose and some caricatures and some fun. And yeah, guys, if you are joining along, if you share your work on Instagram with the hashtag Jake's Art Club. We'll be able to see it at the end of the stream okay we're going to go through and have a look at everyone's work it's going to be it's going to be great um and i've also given you another pose to do if you want to carry on drawing uh, while we're taking a break so here we go i'll be back in five minutes you can draw this if you fancy it or go and get a drink uh, and, I'll, and i'll see you in a second
Cool. And we're back. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Brilliant. So hopefully you had a nice little drink or you've um, had a go at this image. Um, what have we got left? We've got 20 minute portrait and caricatures. So it's interesting. I actually much preferred the quicker drawings to that longer one. Um, so you know, what is it that we're missing with the longer one, perhaps? Need to need to try and harness that um, and, and, you know, stretch it out longer um, for this 20 minute pose. So, there we go, I managed to fix the chat thing. Hey, hey. And we've got 20 minutes for this lovely lady. I thought there was some beautiful light fantastic uh, shadows for us to draw here um, yeah let's let's get into it um, what's your what's your first impression of her you know how what do you want to how do you want to convey this this lady on the page let's do it 20 minutes 20 minutes so we can have a quite a bit more time to to lay out the drawing and and, and get the shapes and everything right um, okay so I noticed that her eyes are at an angle I'm gonna put that eye line at an angle as well try and match the angle of her eyes center of her face coming down at an angle perpendicular to that that's quite small to mark little little knocks here for the eyes so there's an eye there's an eye, and we've got a space in the middle. Another nose. Okay, another little trick for the nose is to um, measure on the drawing. Okay, so you could put your arm out to the screen like this, you know, straight arm. Uh, with your with your with your head uh, close to your arm and close one eye, so you can you can measure like this, and measure the area. I can't show you, can I? But measure the area from this outside point. Okay. Um, so well, I'm, uh, well, measure from this this sorry, measure from this eye line to the nose. So you've got that measurement. And then compare it to the eye line. Okay, so is it one and a half eyes? Is it two eyes? Uh, and then, then you've got a distance, uh, how far down the face the nose should be. So let's have a go at this one. So I'm getting about one and two, one and three quarters perhaps. Yeah, so it's about right. Getting a measurement from there to there, from there to there. All right, going into the measurements too much. Mouth looks quite low down, doesn't it? It's got quite a, a, a space between her nose and her mouth. more space between her than that 
for the for the chin. Okay, measurements down really lightly, and now I'm going to go into the shadows. outlining so perhaps my lips were a bit too far down it's so much easier to see in these kind of abstract shapes back to the eyes to look at how they correspond to the nose here so this is the side of the nose this area of shadow the dark area there and then the ball of the eye ball of the eye and we can wrap around an eyelid Think of um, I know it's very light at the moment, but we'll get we'll get a bit more contrast in there in a minute. You can think of an eye as a ball like this, and then the top eyelid has three points, and the bottom eyelid has two. So here's the kind of tear duct: one, two, three. That's generally is higher this side and, and lower this side and then on the bottom one two you see so we've got the eyeball and then these these bits wrapping around it um, and not only that you can you can perhaps start with that but then you can really imagine this line wrapping around the ball really wrapping around you know like a like a contour line okay so perhaps I was a bit but three for the top and two for the bottom let's come back so one two three let's go along look at where the eye begins one two three one two for the bottom one two for the bottom okay so just keep going around this face and outlining light and shade Bone there. Another bit of light here. It's good to have a process, you know, and you can kind of get lost in it. visual mind just gets carried away you know just goes goes for it instead of having to think too much you stick to that process that you've set out at the beginning it becomes like second nature rather than a bike sort of thing Lip, 
So I thought it was very far down, but it's actually a bit higher up than I thought. Where are people tuning in from? Let me know where. How's how it how it's going near you? If you're in lockdown or not, and uh, let me know how things are. So really good, really good line is from the brow to the top of the ear which is a really good point to to note so from there to there so i've got that in place and now, now i know where the ear should begin and note where the ear cuts in okay if i was going to do a line like that where the ear ends where is that is that just above the nose in line with the nose somewhere like that This side of the face a bit more room. Hey, in Turkey, brilliant. I'm glad that things are okay over there. Is this your first time joining in with a stream like this or? Okay, nine minutes left. I think maybe we can start to put some rendering in. bring the face in more than you expect. It's always going to be chubbier than you, uh, less chubby than you, you've drawn. go in with some shading and see how we get along. Oh brilliant. I'm so glad you could uh, join us live. That's great. Next week we're going to be doing, uh, so I just noticed the nose is Far down. Um, how can I fix this? I've given us too much of a long, a long face. Try and bring that to the nose. 
use that. A measurement as well. But it's best to just go in with these shadows and you notice your your mistakes so quickly. Yeah, it's going to be cars next week, and then we're going to do figures the week after. Um, and from there on, we'll uh, take suggestions and just do different subjects, maybe come back to things. Um, and I think plan is you know just a little bit more laid back drawing sessions um, yeah so this week I didn't go over all the all the facial features and everything uh, because we did that previously in the lockdown live drawing stream um, I'll show you I'll show you how to get to that in a second but that's episode two of the lockdown live drawing so if you want if you're want more info on portraits check that out um, I'll go through eyes nose mouth uh, everything let's bring this nose up come on Jake it's being lazy so wrong so funny Drawing hands, done a drawing hands video. Um, I think we've highlighted that um, in what is one of the stream highlights. And I'll take you through a really simple way that you can draw uh, the basic forms of a hand. So, yeah, check that out. Um, I'd happily do that again. You know, go do some more hand practice another time. Um, yeah, but, uh, check it out and let me know how you get on with that. Right, swapping it up now for getting the 4B out and let's go in for some shadows because I'm just getting frustrated with how wrong the proportions were. <laughs> of light on the dark side of the face.
going a bit wrong or you're getting a bit uh, frustrated, just go back into the docks. Oh, time up. So how did you do? Can't wait to see. Um, Did you get bogged down with the kind of getting the getting the proportions wrong at the start, or did you were you off to a good start? Um, how did it go? Then I'm going to leave it there. Maybe a bit more shadow there. Okay, next part. Well done guys, nice 20 minute drawing. Um, yeah, can't wait to see how you got on. Um, next bit, we're gonna look at exaggerating um, some poses, okay? So we've got some quite expressive faces now to draw, and I'm gonna give you about eight minutes for each one of these. Um, but the idea is to characterize them, okay? So to, to take what you notice and really kind of um, uh, accentuate it and exaggerate it and and uh, and have a bit of fun with it as well so we're not just we're not just copying as well and we're and we're putting a bit of ourselves into these pictures so um, the first one I've got this guy I believe photographed by this reddit user Jack Jack just died um, really expressive face uh, thanks for submitting the photo uh, really really nice expressive face and let's characterize it so what I would start with is the exactly the same as we've been doing but just more you know like um, so if we look at the shape of the face perhaps we can make it really elongated and then um, the, 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 the brow line and the nose uh, maybe we can just make them even more uh, uh, playful and, and exaggerate the features. So I'm going to give you eight minutes and have a go at really making this into a, um, a cartoon. Imagine, imagine you're like on the street, you know, in London or, or Paris or something, and you're you're doing this guy a caricature. Okay, and just have fun with it. It's not doesn't have to. No one's going to pay you. You know. <laughs> You don't have to worry about that. Um, and you haven't got people looking over your shoulder, you know, ooh, you know. Um, so, yeah, let's exaggerate this face. Wrong shape like this. Caricatures normally have quite big ears, don't they? Maybe we can do some big ears. Uh, 
and just kind of rolling with the pencil, taking it for a walk all over the, the face. So, thanks for submitting the photo, but I'm very sorry whoever this is that we're drawing. These look quite, let's, let's try and make the lips even smaller perhaps. sketch now.
we can make them curls really curly. Let's just exaggerate everything we can. Caricaturists normally make the body a bit smaller. Then we can do that too. of the eyes in right at the last minute just to give it a bit of a punch last little bits of contrast a few little places cool there's my guy Can't wait to see what you guys do with these and, and kind of like uh, exaggerate, exaggerate them, how you, how you exaggerate them. I'm going to do one more and then we'll uh, take a look at some of your work. So here we've got Rick, uh, quite a famous uh, model uh, over on Instagram and, and on Reddit. Um, Join him quite a few times, and I thought we better have him on the stream. So let's do it again. Eight minutes. What do you notice about him initially? What can we exaggerate? Maybe, maybe the head, maybe the beard. Let's have a go. Start kind of a, a ball shape, but I want to exaggerate that point at the top of his head and exaggerate the brows. And this ear as well. So the ear, yeah, the, the forehead here looks a bit short, but we'll see how that goes. That might be quite a fun change. So I'm drawing a lot more directly now, just putting the, the line straight on. But still thinking about 
the concepts that we um, have been covering. And that they're guiding the lines that I'm putting down. Make sure that eyes speak to each other. Are they on the same level there? Okay, so the beard, we need to make sense of it in forms. Okay, make sure it's flowing and make sure it's uh, going to make sense. Because on the image there, it's quite grey, it's quite like all one tone uh, because it's outdoors and, and there's not much, not much shadow on it. But we need to make that shadow, we need to describe, make sure the viewer can see. Um, the form that we know is there or that we want to tell them. shadows wherever we can. Gonna put on a few crow's feet. Let's think about rendering this beard now. Hey Melvin, it's great to be back. It really is. Um thanks for the comment. Yeah we I feel like uh we started out a bit rough today with the few technical difficulties and things but it's really nice to be back and um, you know it's really nice to just be drawing and and together kind of as a community and that's brilliant that's really good to hear fantastic we're keeping up the drawing wonderful I'm I'm a little bit afraid to uh, to, to shade this, you know, because I, I quite like quite like it. Um, but I think I'm going to do something to the beard. Just imagine it as a ribbon. there under the chin. Don't like them lines there. It's going to be a bit lighter with the shading. I'm going to put some in. Of 
scruffy, pretty expressive marks for the beard here. minute Beards are a lot of fun. So there, it doesn't have to be necessarily in proportion uh, to look like the person or to, to be fun, you know, to be uh, kind of a successful drawing. The confidence of line, being mindful of shadows, really make or break a, a drawing, I think. There we go, we're going to leave it there. So, um, thanks so much, guys, for joining in. Um, let's take a look at what, what we've done. Send your work in. Won't you at, uh, uh, give it a hashtag Jake's Art Club and I'll be able to show some of them on screen in a minute. I can't wait to see what you've done. Um, so yeah, jump on Instagram, Jake's Art Club. And if you're, if you're doing this, uh, drawing along to the recording, do that as well because we can still see it you know, as a community and we can still see each other's work and, and like and comment and everything. Let's just have a little look. I'm gonna show you the drawings that I've done. Um, so there's Rick, that was the guy before, the kind of Sherlock Holmes guy. This was the old lady, she was cool, I quite liked her, and we were looking at these eyes. Now, this one was quite difficult wasn't it, because it didn't have much shadow. Um, but I really liked this one. That's probably my favorite drawing of this evening. I think just, yeah, I don't know, the strength of the, of the lips and the eyes. Um, that really speaks to me. I like that one. Uh, the 10 minute one, yeah, not so, not so confident. I think, I think I lost my way a little bit. Then, blimey, we've drawn a lot, haven't we? <laughs> The side profile, yeah, I like it, but then perhaps this jaw part wasn't isn't doesn't have enough structure to it. Um, I think I needed to spend a little bit more time on that. Uh, and then the first two, which I quite like, they're quite confident. Um, yeah, really really good shadows on that on this one especially, wasn't there? And it was really clear for us to to get kind of like a likeness and a and a punchy drawing straight away. Um, and this, this one I was quite happy with. And there we've got our beginning drawing as well. So maybe you'll want to post a couple of the ones that you're most happy with, or you want to post all of them, whatever you think. Um, and we'll take a look at them in just a sec. Ah, um, oh, Jeanette said lockdown is kind of okay tonight. Thank you, Jake. Jeanette, thank you. Like, really, it, this is uh, it's a good bit of respite, isn't it? R good respite, respite, whatever it's called. Um, and it's really good to be back. 
uh, I kind of needed that kick, kick in the butt uh, of the lockdown to say, you know, hey, let's do some more live streams. And um, if you're anything like me, you probably don't practice enough. Um, you know, you, you like, I like drawing so much, but I don't often find that time to set, set aside and, and do it. So unless we've got some sort of activities like this or classes or, or you know, life drawing classes to, to, to actually sit down and draw and kind of focus, uh, sometimes it, it doesn't happen. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I just want to say quickly, thank you to our Patreons because your support with the channel is amazing and it, it really, really does help. Um, so guys, thank you so much. If, if, if anyone wants to go and check out our Patreon, uh, there's a few little, um, extra bits that you get on there, like some worksheets and some reference hit, reference packs. Uh, we're doing a, a watercolor series at the moment. I'm um, trying to release a video every week on that. And there's quite a few handy little uh, watercolor uh, tips in, in the Patreon. So if you're, if you're a watercolorist, check that out. Um, yeah, and also I'm offering um, private tutoring as well on, on the Patreon. So if you want to excel quickly and you want, you know, professional kind of critique, uh, you know, and, and tips to improve fast, then, you know, we can jump on a video call uh, and, and offer some some uh, private tutoring as well. So, yeah, take a look. Um, uh, here we go. Let's see. People have submitted some work. Way oh we got loads brilliant brilliant here we go so hopefully it doesn't freeze this time again because last time we brought up the web page it froze didn't it um but yeah so far so good if it goes somewhere I'll be back very shortly um thanks thanks Karen and Cam thank guys thank you so much and uh, you know long time supporters of what I've been doing here. I really, really appreciate you, you two so much and uh, glad to see you're still drawing uh, and still enjoying it. Um, so let's have a look. What have we got? Cheryl Cutmore with this beautiful picture. We've got, oh, that's that lovely one with the, with the kind of the shadows, the subtle shadows, isn't it? And that, the, the dark eyes. And Cheryl, you've, you've captured that well nice kind of olive kind of teardrop shape to her face wasn't there and you've done really well with the shadows um oh this one's good too and you see it's, it's nice to see your construction lines you know when the when the face is straight on like that we can go in and be really confident with them and that's nicely done um wonderful drawing cheryl thanks for sending them in have you got any more? Yeah, Cheryl again. Oh yeah, brilliant. Now I need to come up with name a name for this guy. Can you can you help me come up with a name? Let me know in the comments. Because uh, it features a lot, doesn't he? Or or she? So we need to come up with a name. Currently going for a little little swim, lockdown swim. Um, yeah, and Cheryl, the, the, it's a really good thing to, to to practice. You know, you notice how that them lines coming down the side of the face here. You've got that forward-facing plane, um, really, really clear, uh, and things like that are great to have in your subconscious when we go at, uh, to to draw more organic uh, people and, and more organic shapes. So definitely uh, study that that uh, the planes of the face sculpture. And this is this is a great a great study. Oh, this guy's good. He's got some real expression, and I think this this guy. Uh, I don't know if it. He he did mention somewhere in his comments that he wasn't having a good time recently, and maybe that was like a you know a selfie with a little with some emotion. But I hope he's doing all right. Um, and uh, we you know I'm sure seeing all these drawings is going to cheer him up a little bit. Uh, so it's a brilliant, nice, strong shading. Love it. More, 
Oh, Cheryl, you're you're the star. This is amazing. Thank you so much for sending all these in. Um, this one's good. This is the the, the girl with the kind of um, the braids, or, or, or I think it was braids. I like what you've done with the nose. It's like a little little button nose almost, and it's kind of soft. Um, yeah, that's that really kind of uh, has come together, and you've got a little bit of shading around the sides of the face, kind of a nice little bit. And that she had that real interesting shadow there, didn't she? Um, uh, between the eyes, you know, just on the, in the, where the eye sockets begin, and the, you've captured that beautifully. Um, but the, the button nose really, really um, stands out to me. That's really well done. Um, what else have we got? Karen. Karen. Oh, brilliant! This profile. This profile is wonderful. She did. She had like a really kind of square back of the back of the head. Well done, everyone. Yeah, Grace is well done. <laughs> uh, really nice. Let's. Oh, there's a few here. Oh, that's good. I like that texture. Oh, I've just drunk face cream. <laughs> There was, there was some on the side of the cup. <laughs> so that doesn't taste like water. That's nice. And she's got a bit of attitude and she's got a bit of like the, 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 um, them eyelashes there are really, really expressive. And that's great. You know, putting your own, uh, kind of slants on these, these pictures as well. <laughs> I like this. That was that more subtle one with that interesting face shape and that just suggesting the braids there is wonderful. Oh, really nice. Thanks for sending them in. What else have we got? Um, Donique's. Donique's Art sent a few in. This is a good sketch. It's quite bold. And uh, like especially on the eyes there, I love that kind of rendering. You've got that, that, that shine of the eyes, nice shadow underneath the, the, the neck, you know, um, Maybe we were going a bit quick. Um, but I, I like how this this drawing's kind of finished. You know, like uh, makes you makes you kind of want more. Makes you like little little suggestion of the hair, little texture. It's it's it's, it's nice. You know, um, oh, real real shadow and real kind of expression. Nice directional marks there, and yeah, he had he did have kind of um uh you know really kind of thin eyes there where, where the expression was and the, and the sun coming down on his face there were really dark lines um so good observation this is nice sort of that more subtle good face shape and the strong eyes really cool so that was that was that tricky one, was that, that 10 minute one. That was really, really, really tricky. Beautiful big eyes, look at them. And I was having trouble with this shadow on the nose, but I think you've got it. You've got that, that kind of nice, thin, um, uh, thin kind of thing that was going on there and the upturned nose and with, with some kind of pouty lips. That's really cool. Um, oh, what's next, what's next? Ah, four on a page, love it. Nikki, Nikki, this is great. Ah, I love it. Love seeing the sketches on a page like that because you can see your, your progression and your kind of like um, what you're kind of feeling in each drawing. You know, my, my approaches tonight have been so different really and some I've liked, some I've not. Um, even though we were trying to stick to a, um, a, a kind of a a process it, it still happens it you know, anything can affect you I love these and I love changing up the mediums a little bit getting in that that chalk really nicely done this is good this is lovely and this really cool that nose on the bottom right it's got a bit of dimension to it as well it's got a bit of something another one from Nikki nice five minute quick sketch looking off the side there Ah, I love it more on the same on the same page taxi for Satan 
sent this in and really kind of crammed them in. I love it. Like a looks like an album cover. Um, maybe we could get Max's ukulele playing published, and this is the this is the album cover. This my favourite of these is that top right. Look at that. Sometimes you don't even need to to have that many lines and have that much going on, um, but you've just got it in where it counts, and that you know that. Uh, that kind of less is more approach I think has really paid off there. That's beautiful and even just the suggestion of hair, you know, that little little bit of shading on the nose. That, my eye is drawn, to, there's lots of good drawing here but my eye is drawn to that specifically. Um, you've, got a, you've got some nice shadows and rendering on that bottom right one as well. A really interesting page, I like that a lot. Oh, and the old, the old lady. She was, I tell you what, that, that thing there was so, uh, what's that called, the, the, the bit between the lip and the nose? That was so kind of difficult to get right, wasn't it? It's like, almost like, it was almost like the Grinch, where we thought that it was really big, you know, and, and, uh, and like whiskers and things. Um, sorry, I'm being, um, she, was, she was a lovely looking lady, that's why I chose the picture. Um, <laughs> But I didn't realize, I didn't uh, expect that to, to cause me so much problems. And this is, maybe it's got that, a bit of that problem there as well, but uh, maybe not, maybe you've got it right. And I was, and I was offshoot, you know, uh, got a bit of age, got a bit of soul to her eyes here. It's nice, really a bit of depth. Hey, okay, brilliant, some caricature bits I love what you've done love a bit of curly hair big nose and you've got that he had that really interesting jawline didn't he really interesting hi Carter welcome to the stream we're just looking through people's work uh, there we are this is the next one love it oh this has got some real depth Nikki this is wonderful Real depth, nice, nice, uh, you know, uh, what, what is that? Sanguine, sanguine pencil, real nice depth that and, 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 uh, and kind of for 20 minutes, that's, that's really nicely kind of rendered and put together. I really, really like that. Uh, and another one by Nikki that I love. Yeah, it's funny when we, when we start to start to go more caricatural, I wanted to be, spend more time just on line work. Uh, you know, kind of like a cartoon, and this is this is beautiful. I love this, these expressive eyes. You know, oversized eyes. You really got him, really got him there. Love it. Uh, let's go through these. So, Tanique, is it Tanique Art? Ah, oh, thank you, Tanique Art. This is this is. I love this bold. Like this is that's my type of shading that's awesome that really is uh, that hatching there I love that and then that you've got that shine peeking through Ooh, got that shine peeking through on the uh, on the face as well um, oh, I love it really contorting you know changing the face shape really fun uh, another strong one it's isn't it funny you just put on them simple shapes them simple shadows and boom you've got a face and yeah um, really nice look at that there look at that beautiful shading real expressive this is cool I, I, this is um, the, the the lady with the braids and you've got that lovely suggestion of the, of the texture and everything um, and some more expressive expressiveness really cool oh and there there's our beginning with them with them shapes Tanique wonderful drawings thanks for sending them in um, keep looking at them shadows you know yeah I've said it a million times tonight sorry I'll have to I won't talk about shadows at all next week I promise um, but but really good work um, Oh, we got 
Claire in the US, brilliant. A drawing on the iPad, I love it. Look at this, this is wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, I I really need to have a go at that iPad sketching. I, I'd love to have a go at that. This is Procreate, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Little, is that tracing? Claire, you, have you been tracing? I hope not. <laughs> no, no, it's wonderful. Um, you know, even even if you you need that that leg up, you know, that kind of that help with with proportions, it still comes down a lot down to what you do with them lines and what you do with that expressiveness, you know, and how you how you um, how you the choices that you make are still so so important. Um, so I will. I'm going to refresh the Instagram. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, this is lovely. So there are a few different layers here. A few different layers. Oh, oh okay, so we've got some nice, we've learned about that structure and, and putting them lines on. Maybe this is just an overlay. I don't, at the end, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm being harsh to Claire here. And I shouldn't be. Um, oh, but good. And as long as you're enjoying it, and that's it, that's it. And, but it, this is actually a really good example for us because look, that lovely outline of that that shadow. Whoops, I keep clicking. Lovely outlining these shadows. And that's what we were going for. And you've got that and that's helped you put in this layer of tone. You know, there's something really cool about that. That looks like, ah, um, oh, there's an illustrator. I'll send you the, I'll send you the name for that later. Um, I love this. But yeah, keep doing what you're doing, Claire. I love it. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, let's give it a refresh. And let's look at a few more. I've got five more. Inarticulate artist. Thanks for the lesson. No worries. No worries. Thanks for joining in. This is wonderful. Really nice and kind of, you know, uh, like a dignified sketch of this lady um i think she you've taken a few years off her i think she could do with a few more wrinkles um so i'm sure she'd love this picture if you send it into her um no it's wonderful wonderful i like what you've done with the scarf as well just sort of suggestion wrapping around really nice um ah, another couple here this is cool, like incorporating them together, a little bit of green, a little bit of that strawberry. So this on the top left here, that's wonderful. You've really, really done well with that portrait. You've captured her, um, they're big eyes, uh, you know, and the subtlety of the shading is absolutely beautiful. Um, both two very good drawings here, very strong. And I like how you've gone in at the end and really darkened up the pupils of the eyes, you know, make that point of interest. Um, really, really kind of uh, solidified that. Um, really, really nice, really confident drawing. Confident, competent, um, good shading in the hair, you know, nice, you're being rough with a pencil where you need to be. Um, I particularly like this one, uh, particularly like this one. On, on the top top there very well done love it cool little it's just fun to just you know mess around with the features brilliant he's straight he's something straight out of like sherlock or or cluedo maybe or no guess who you know like uh the the old game oh this is great really strong i like the choice to go for a straight beard you know, pick something and stick to it. And that's really stylistic, really nicely done. Um, again, incorporating the two pictures and uh, really, really nice drawing, Khaled Art, really nice. Um, thanks so much for joining in and sending in your work. Uh, I've got a few more. Another, another one from an inarticulate artist. Less caricature, more cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I love it. This is kind of like a Disney, Disney character, isn't it? Some kind of like a 
wizard or something kind of elf wizard it's awesome another one by claire that i love that little bit of cell shading in there you know and just simplifying these shapes down really really nice um and one more you you say you're no pro but this looks great you've got the the, the shadows in you know really nice making them them points of you know the side of the nose and everything you're making sense of all of that this is great you know these are confident these are you know they, they, and they were five minutes as well don't forget you know we're, we're going in we're quickly sketching something that perhaps you know normally people take hours to draw faces and we're going in and we and we're just getting them essentials i think you've done really well look at this expressiveness look at that love this hair just really nice really nice big eyes <laughs> i love that actually just go for it oh i forgot i forgot this part the the nose ring i forgot that well done well done side profile good oh that's awesome that that looks like um is it is it the the van gogh no no it's um the picasso big picasso picture with that guy with the massive face kind of like zigzagging across the page that's awesome that's so cool that's like that's really nice and you've i like the way you've broken down the eyes with the straight lines as well brilliant i see a like a, i see a plastic wallet here i hope you've walleted that up that's a keeper keep that one safe oh, i love that on the note on the on the beard as well awesome well i'll give it one more refresh and then we'll uh we'll call it a night see if anyone else no brilliant well guys thank you everyone thank you um it's great to be back um and uh and sketching with you um keep it up okay keep looking for them shadows check out that reddit gets drawn uh website people are posting photos to that all the time um and they'd love it if you could give them a little sketch you know um uh and it's a good you know it's a good resource for people that um or for for artists that are looking for something to draw and perhaps you know sometimes you google faces and everyone's drawing the same faces whereas something like reddit gets drawn it keeps it fresh it keeps it interesting you know uh, um and sometimes it's challenging people don't photograph themselves in the perfect light and you have to make it up a bit you have to exaggerate you have to change things so uh so check out check out reddit reddit gets drawn uh for more of these um more of these things and next week we're going to be back with with drawing cards okay i'm going to take you through um the real basics of of the of the two-point perspective uh, and how we can build a car up from a block and how we can put movement on it how we can put you know um the, the wheels in the right positions and have have some fun with that i really enjoy really like drawing cars as well um so yeah, if you're into that, hopefully see you next week, the week after, it'll be figure drawing. Um, thanks, thanks Jane, thanks Nikki, thanks Claire. Um, thanks everyone, and uh, yeah. Make sure you like the video before you go, okay? If you haven't liked it already, like the video, subscribe, uh, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks guys, have a good week. <laughs>